What's up, guys? Jason Stewart here with Isaac Verdugo, and he is fighting May 12th at 155. And you learned about MMA through the UFC video game. Right, yeah. Tell us about that, how to transition to you playing it to you doing it. So, well, yeah, it started off by when I was younger. I came over to my cousin's house, and he had, like, I think it was the PS2 that I played it on. It was the PS2, and he had, the, I don't even know what UFC it was. So it was probably the very first UFC game there was. And... uh well, I went over to his house and I played it. And then a couple years later, my brother started training himself. Okay. You know, he started training MMA, MMA, yeah. And so he would teach me, like, certain things, like the rear naked choke. And we would play a play fight with each other. And I always liked it, you know. I liked it as well. So he got into it first. And then how much later did you get into it after he did? Mm -hmm. Like, actually training. I started training in 2018. So was that like a year after he started or two years? Or? No, it was way after. He, way after. He, uh, so probably about eight years. Nah, that's too much. <laughs> five, a lot of years around later. five years. Who's better now? Better now? Well, my brother actually already started training again. He's training in my gym. In oh, yeah? Yeah, he started training about two, three weeks ago. So can he still whoop your butt or not anymore? Yeah, he's, he's a bigger guy. <laughs> he's, he's a, a bigger big guy. So. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> you had a good upbringing. You, you, you didn't have a lot of, uh, uh, too, too much drama in the upbringing. Parents had it together. Parents did a good job. Congratulations. What makes you want to take on fighting? Uh, a lot of times people fight as, you know, they grew up fighting or it was their way out or it was like the, the thing that they saw that could, could be their, their ticket uh, to a better life. And for you, you grew up with a good life. You, you, you didn't have uh, too much hardship as far as like what some people go through in bad neighborhoods or not having parents or both parents in the household. Why do you feel you fight? Why do you feel like you have that urge? Um, I feel like um, I have I have it in me to be better. And it's like a way of bettering yourself. Is it a just like you need the challenge? You need the adrenaline. What what is it for you? Just from what I've seen, I I know that I could probably do better than from what, even from the professional fighters today. Yeah. That I think that I could go up against them and I'm not afraid. Is there anything else that you've ever seen that you felt that? Like you see it and you're like, I could be good at that? Or was MMA kind of that first thing where you were like, wow, I feel like I could really be great at that? No, it was for sure <laughs> MMA. I didn't see myself working anything else. Not working a job, other sports or something. You, you, you saw the MMA and something inside of you said, I could, I could reach a high level with this. Yeah. Like, I have greatness with this. Exactly. And how has that journey been so far? As a, do you feel like you've been right? Do you feel like you, yeah. you're becoming great? Yeah, I mean, I started fighting in 2020, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah. That was my, and then I, I won my first fight and won the second fight and just kept going. Yeah. And yeah, you were like, it just felt like I was right. Yeah. Um, I could do it. Well, we're going to find out at Epic Fighting May 12th. Uh, he is fight. Do you know anything about your opponent? Um, I know that he is from One Legacy, and I know that his gym and my gym are rivals. Yeah. Like, I don't know too much history about it, you know? I don't but you know I can't history. say much about it, but <laughs> I know that, yeah. How do you see the fight going, if you had to make a prediction? If you had to put money on your fight? I'm there to win. I'm How? There to win. Which round? Submission or knockout? I'd like to be in the first round. That's, that's how I like to end my fight. <laughs> So maybe, um, well, however it goes, to be honest, I believe uh, actions speak louder than words, so. Okay. I love it. Anything you want to tell your fans or the fighters, people you may be fighting in the future or people who are going to see you fight? Well, I'm here, and I'm here to get whoever's in, whoever's in my way. I'm here to come after you, and I will fight. I'm not scared, and I'm, I'm and you're And you're 20 years old and already have a, a good amount of MMA experience, right? Yeah, that's that's impressive. That's right. impressive. All right, you guys, May 12th, we will see you there at Epic Fighting. Instagram at Epic Fighting. And of course, tickets are at EpicFighting.com. And if you can't make it here to see the fights in person, you can always watch it live at EpicFightingLive.com. Thank you guys so much for your support. We'll see you there. Don't want to miss it. I want to show something special. Hell yeah.